Okay, maraming tao na nagsasabi sa akin, kapag nag-rhinoplasty ka daw, mas malaki daw yung kulangot mo. Good morning guys! So today I'm going to give you an update about my nose 2 months post-op. And this is now what it looks like. And as what you can see, meron pa rin siyang discoloration. A little bit of discoloration in this part and in this part as well. Pero yung swelling is wala na siya dito na banda. Yung bump, yung bukol, dito na part finally is na wala na talaga siya guys. And this is now what it looks like. And whenever I like press my nose here, Hindi na siya uncomfortable, pero sobrang ramdam ko yung implant. Sa tip, whenever I press it like that, there's still konting uncomfy na feeling. Yung tip ng nose ko, medyo nagsiswell pa rin yan, guys. Kasi ito talaga yung pinakamatagal mag-subside. What I'm really happy about is yung dito, yung bukol dito is nawala talaga siya. Finally! So later, I'm going to give you further details about the progress of my nose. But what I'm really happy about today is that I can work out a lot. You don't have any idea, guys, how happy I am that I can work out a lot. Two months recovery for my rhinoplasty, ba? Wala ko mag work out. Parang there's a certain part of me na nawala. For me, my body is really longing for a workout. Yung mapagpawisan ka and all. Nagain ako ng weight. Sobrang wala ng form. Yung katawan ko, guys. Especially my body. Kasi flat na siya. And also yung workout, it will help your mental state. Sobrang excited ako today na makakapag-workout ako, guys! Oh my God! Join me today as a workout. Pero dahan-dahan lang muna. Today's day one for my workout, guys. Dapat fit ako ulit kasi magsasummer na, guys. Iba din talaga sa feeling if you are fit and healthy and you have an active lifestyle. I just finished my oats and now I'm trying to finish my tea. And after that, mag-workout na ako. So, hindi muna ako nag-heavy meal knowing that today is my first day sa workout sa so baka mahimatay o magsuka ako today guys and that's the reason why nilagyan ko din ng Nutella yung oatmeal ko kanina para at least merong something matamis. So I'm just gonna finish my tea. Sana ako lang mag-isa later sa gym guys. Now I'm preparing my things. Earphones, earpods, alcohol, condo keys, and my water. Phone ko din pala. And towel. Finally, masusuot ko na tong shoes na to, guys. Alam niyo ba, ito yung greatest budol sa akin ni Mamao. This is by far the most expensive shoes na nabili ko. And I blame Mamao. So talaga nagsabi, kunin mo yan dyan kasi ang ganda. Kunin mo na yan. And when I look at the price, nung pumunta na ako sa counter, I was shocked. Sabi ko, oh, sige na. <laughs> Naiya na ako, guys, na mag-back out kasi nasa counter na nga. Kailangan ng return of investment for the shoes. Kaya, gagamitin natin to for workout today. Nung umuwi na ako and I have this, I've been looking for the price probably the whole day. Sabi ko, is it really worth it na bumili ako na ganito kamahal na shoes? Tapos, a couple of months later, nakita ko si Catherine Bernardo. Ganito yung shoes niya. Nakita ko! And I was like, ay, same kami ni Catherine. So, I'm happy. <laughs> Sabi ko, since pareha naman kami ni Catherine, so this is worth it. Sobrang ganda at sobrang comfy niya naman. Suot din, especially for jogging. Worth it! <laughs> Guys, look at this. <laughs> Dil Bell! I need to put on my mask. Nakakahiya pala guys na ito yung suot ko sa elevator kaya I'm going to wear this as my top. This is so cute. This is from Motion Active Wear. Sobrang soft ng fabric niya guys. And this is perfect as an active wear top. And let's go! Magka-cap din pala ako. <laughs> yes! Ako lang mag-isa guys. We are now here! Ako lang mag-isa. I'm so happy. Kita niyo ba Alcohol. So I'll just use my alcohol. Let's start. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. 
Day one is definitely the hardest. It's not just for workout, but in everything. Day one is the hardest. May it be some work, may it be doing a project or starting a business. Day one will always be the hardest. But as long as you will be consistent, day by day, it will be easy. Laban, sobrang tanga ko guys. Hindi ako nag-stretching. Good luck talaga sa akin tomorrow. Mag-stretching na din ako. <laughs> Some might say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right... Oh my God. Nahilo ako bigla. Ay, nahilo ako. Nahilo talaga ako. So I'll do a quick body weight workout guys. Mga 15 minutes. Tingnan ko kung kakayanin ko. Bukas naman guys. Balik muna ako sa kondo guys. Day one. We did it. Last one. Time to eat the dragon fruit. Mm. I really like this. <laughs> All done. Finally, na kapag ayos na ako, guys. Hindi ko kayo na balikan agad because I shoot a couple of TikTok videos. Anyway, so ayun na nga. This is now what my nose looks like. Hindi na siya tabingi, de ba? Pero there's still a little bit of discoloration dito at sa kadito na part. Para siyang naging natural contour ng nose ko. So every time nagmi make up ako is dito na lang ako nagko contour kasi parang merong natural contour dito na side. Ngayon hindi ako nagcontour kasi I'm just staying here lang. So ayun na nga. This is the update of my nose. Two months after my my rhinoplasty procedure. But let me just share something to you guys. Diba, on my previous video, I shared to you na nagkaroon ako ng follow-up check-up with my surgeon about my nose kasi nga, sobrang laki ng bump dito na part sa ilong ko. And since I was so impatient about it, because every time I wake up after the consultation, parang wala talaga siyang progress. So what I did was, nagpa-second opinion ako. For the second opinion, nirisahan ako ng gamot for asthma. It's called Montelukas. And for the Montelukas, though wala akong asthma, but that specific medicine or the Montelukas will actually help your body inflammation. So that's why nag-subside talaga yung dito ko. Like, sobrang bilis lang. But I don't recommend you doing that or I don't want you to self-medicate, guys. It's really important for you to consult your doctor first before doing anything. If you find yourself in the same situation as mine, wag na wag kayong mag-self-medicate. Always consult your doctor, okay? The medicine was prescribed. I took it for a month. And after two weeks of taking it, as in, meron na talaga akong nakitang progress with my nose. So ganun na ako ka-desperate na umabot ako sa point na nagpa-second opinion ako. Ayoko naman na parang may projects ako tapos nakikita yung bump sa nose ko. As in, nakaka-low talaga siya ng self-esteem. Nakaka-praning. Nag-a-add up siya with your depression. Ngayon, nawala na yung bump dito. As in, sobrang happy ako. Kasi as what you can see, kapag nakaharap lang ako, hindi masyadong halata na I had rhinoplasty. Supernatural looking lang niya. Pero kapag nag-side view ako, Doon na talaga nakikita na there's a difference. Ngayon is nagagad yan ko na yung nose ko. Nahahawakan ko na din yun dito. 
Pero super sensitive niya kapag gaganyanin ko yung tip. So, ibig sabihin nun, the tip is still on its healing process. Nakakapagkulangot na ako using my finger. <laughs> Pero there are times pa rin na nagagamit pa rin ako ng cotton pads. Okay, maraming tao na nagsasabi sa akin, kapag nag-rhinoplasty ka daw, mas malaki daw yung kulangot mo. So far naman, guys, wala pa akong napapansin na ganun. I'm going to update you six months after <laughs> kung mas malaki ba than usual yung kulangot ko. Kasi madami talagang tao nagsasabi sa akin nun. And that's it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!